and welcome to the 10 things we hate about Green Day. We've done the 10 things we love, now we're doing the 10 things we hate about Green Day. So this should be should have been easier, considering we're both not big fans of the band. Yep. I like them more than you do. Yep. Uh, but if you look at the love video, you'll kind of get a gist of where... Brendan's feelings lie and my feelings <laughs> lie. Um, yeah. You know, I the mean, fact the fact that one of his positives was um, that they called an album titled Dookie and it represented what you felt about the album. Yeah. You know, isn't there's his positives. But I did have some actual genuine positives in there as well. There are. Know? There's some there good, are some. Um, and don't want to toot around home, yeah, but there are some good stuff. Don't take this too seriously either. Of course. Yeah, this is fun. Yeah, we, we, we kind of mean it, but you know, it's fun. Yeah, well, we say we don't like them. We mean we say we don't like them, yeah. or we don't like this, and we don't like that. There's a reason for that. It's yeah. exactly for that, but it is tongue-in-cheek. If you're going to sit down and bash in the comments and say, well, apps, we deserve to get beheaded because we said something <laughs> naughty about Green Day, yeah, you're, ta- me. You're, take, you, you're missing the point. Um, but yeah, but don't, don't misunderstand us either. We're strong opinionators. Yeah. We don't like Green Day. Sorry. <laughs> so my number one and it, it, you touched upon in a love video but I can't stand the song Wake Me Up When September Ends now I know the lyrical content I, I know that um, and I appreciate that and I think that is a nice better feeling to have but what happened with this song other than being a really bland song really bland is it got attached and given meaning that I didn't like which was attached to September and September 11th yeah. uh, the attacks and often you'd see slow footage of that with this song playing yeah and i really didn't like that you know i don't know how green day maybe felt about that i didn't it's to, i didn't like the connotations added to suddenly it was like well now we're gonna we're gonna people are gonna yeah. adopt it and use it for war when actually it was about his father's uh yeah. death um which Inter- is what he wrote about interpreting his lyrics and using it for your own gain absolutely um but not only that's a bad song simple as that i don't like it it's <laughs> a bland song <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah no it's a fair point um, the first one I wrote down was quite simply I just wrote Basket Case fuck that song <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say you'd come at this what, what, what's your I don't like case? it I mean maybe it is just uh, yeah, right, obviously I'm not a fan of the band yeah. Mm. so I'm, I'm going to struggle to sit here and name like five songs that I really like by Green Day yep. I know plenty of songs this isn't a case of oh I don't know anything by Green Day I know plenty of songs from old albums and from newer albums yep. um, I, that is the one of the most overplayed songs in history. Oh, for sure. I don't find it that great. I probably didn't mind it the first couple of times I heard it, but I never like, liked it. But now it's one of those songs like, you know, if, if it came on on my iPod, well, it wouldn't be on my iPod. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't but be on your If it came on on my iPod, like, it'd be straight away skipped. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, yeah, I've heard it so many times in my life. And when you don't like a song and you've heard it that many times, you just don't need it anymore. In yeah. Life. Yeah, I understand that, even though I think it's a good song. Yeah. No, I yeah. Know you had it in your loves, didn't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, right. so continuing with these sort of song themes, but this is also a double thing, really. I want to ask you, who do you reckon is the most, one of the most popular pop rocky bands, rock bands, pop, whatever you want to call oh, them, out there in the world that everybody loves that you can't stand? You too. Thank you. And exactly. Is, I wonder if you're, what you're about to bring up it may also be very similar to number two on my list. It's number two on my list, even though they're not in order, but it's number two. Was uh, Green Day did a song with you two. And it was the most up their own ass. go, are you fucking kidding me, with one of the bands who are up their own ass to be on the, never forget people, what you two did with Apple Music yep. or iTunes, never forget that mad attempt. Of, Forcing music upon people. Yeah, you, regardless if you like them or not. Yep. But they did a song called uh, The Saints Are Coming, uh, Saints Are Coming, and it was god awful. Yep. I think universally most people didn't like it, but it was also like, man, oh man. Yep. What are you doing? Number two on my list. The Saints are coming with you two. Terrible. I mean, I remember clearly, if nothing else out of that song, I remember the video mm. for that song, which was them in a boat paddling towards New Orleans. That's it. To save the people. Hurricane screaming, Katrina. The Saints are coming. <clears throat> unbelievable. Like, it is so self-righteous. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, yeah. It just, I, I don't. There should be no redeeming quality for that song. I'd love to hear the argument for why that song's deserve more respect or something like I'd love it's, to hear. It, the best I could probably say is um, I think the proceeds went to charity yeah that's the best I could probably yeah. say yeah which is a good thing and it would have probably sold a lot because it was you 2 and Green Day and that's fine but we you, are you know, only like, if you want to do something like that put the fucking fire brigade in the boats saying the saints are coming yeah the people that are actually there trying to save people and dying Ooh. doing it makes you shudder doesn't it Green Day and you 2 in a boat coming to save you I would happily throw myself in the water <laughs> they'll save you <laughs> get, get to the off me get off me get to the dry land you're safe stand on the roof and be like no I'm good here mate and be like 
someone goes for you with a boat and Bono's there, I just went, nah, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a bad, bad moment. Yeah. Um, all right, well, you go next. Yeah, because you're the same one, so you might as well go next. All right. Um, I genuinely, genuinely, I know this is going to piss off a lot of people. But, uh, I don't know every song by them. I know quite a few. I find a lot of their songs sound very similar. I Fair do, enough. personally. In terms of the way that they're structured. Uh, not necessarily in terms of the lyrics or anything like that, but I find very little creativity in terms of, you know, it's the same kind of melodic kind of opening, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. You know, like it's all three minute. Like, you know, there's nothing... I don't really see them ever kind of... Bro- Even when they, their trend changed towards a more cleaner sound with like the American Idiot sort of stuff, mm. the structures of everything stayed kind of the same. Okay. You know, that's just... A, it's a pers- personal feeling on it. Of I'm course, sure there yeah. are people that know much more about Green Day that will be able to rattle off songs where they're so different that I maybe have never heard, but yep. of what I've heard. Yeah, of what you've heard, which is ultimately you know, what you've got to be hearing, yeah. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. Mm. All right, my next one is that American Idiot, the album itself, has kind of become a parody of itself, you know? Um, about what it's sort of particularly certain songs um, I know it was adapted into a stage show and I know that's because obviously and, it's and got being a... adapted into a movie apparently well there we go I know it's because it's got a concept behind it I know that but ultimately a lot of the songs were politically charged and leaning towards certain things uh, I think it's that's a, it's become a parody of that now I, th- I don't think for a second now it's going to ever I don't think it stands up I don't think it stands the test of time as a politically charged album. Mm-hmm. You can say, well, they didn't mean, probably argue that they didn't plan that, but only had, when they're doing songs like American Idiot. And, and so, you know, I mean, it's like, it, it's got, you know, that's what was, that was what was associated with it. Yeah. It was like, man, look how, you know, look at them taking jabs at government and this and that, whatever. And it's like, in 2018, do I think that, and you can say, but it was a different, obviously, again, it was a different um, president and stuff like that. Yeah, 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 George yeah. Bush and things yeah. like that, which is fine. But that's why it doesn't hold up. It's, <clears throat> like I said, a parody of itself. There's the stage show. Apparently you've said it's going to be a movie. I find that um, a little bit jarring. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I, uh, I, I agree. Um, I've got one that's very similar, actually, and it's about the same album, so mm-hmm. I'll, I'll do that one. I mean, I wrote just a whole of American Idiot and uh, its self-righteous delivery. Okay, interesting. Um, I like politics in music. Yep. I'm totally for that. I do not think... We talked about bastards on the Machine Head video, yeah, and about how maybe they didn't write, they didn't put the message across properly, and I feel that that's what American Idiot, especially the song American Idiot, does yeah. for me, because what they do in that song is rather than attack the government, they attack America as a whole, yeah, and they literally say lines like "I don't want to be an American idiot" to their fans. Um, it's not an attack on a, a section of the people. It, it comes across to me when I listen to it as an attack on America, right. And that also includes them and their fans and the people that are against the government and, and on their side and everything like that. I don't think it was delivered right. It sounds like they're just saying, you're all shit. <laughs> you need Fuck to go to America. The- <laughs> I don't want to be an American idiot like you lot. That's how I, I, I took it. And I'm sure they didn't mean it that way. Just like Rob Flynn didn't mean what he, the way he meant maybe some people took the message and bastards. Fair enough. So I just think they didn't deliver it very well. Yeah, I okay. think a lot of people are clever with the way they do politics and music. Uh, the song In Comes a Flood by Machine Head. They hint... It's subtle. It's done as in wake up America, as in like a call to arms. Right. You know? um, it doesn't you... say you're all fucked, America. You're all fucking idiots. <laughs> you know, it says come on, America, wake up. That's a different delivery. Do you know what I mean? So that's just yeah. My my feelings on it. I felt like they stood, put themselves on a pedestal, and said, "You guys are shit." Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely that's a very controversial opinion. I know. Yes, very very good. That's what I'm here for. No, that's good. That's good. <laughs> that's what we want. Controversy. Um, Right, so this one is going to... I hope when people hear what I'm about to say, they're going to go, oh shit, that's true. This is a big one. When I came up with this, I was kind of patting myself on the back. Your parents probably like Green Day as much as you do now. Sit with that, man. Yeah. Sit with that. You know? It's true, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, no, it probably is. Yeah. That's yeah, it? Yeah, it's horrid, isn't it? Yeah. A horrible thing. Um, I'm going to carry on with the controversy, I guess. This go is quite a straightforward one. I don't even know if this is necessarily Green Day's fault, but I think it is because I've read some quotes by Billy Joe. Go. Um, they are, to me, and to most people, and we've talked about it before, a pop-punk band. Yes. And pop-punk is inspired by, but very, very different from true root. Heavily punk. diluted, yeah. Um, the fact that their online appears to be this ongoing argument about whether they're punk or not, or whether they're pop-punk, and I found this everywhere I looked, Die-hard Green Day fans saying, no, they're punk, they're punk, they're punk. They're not pop-punk, they're punk. 
and I couldn't get my head around it, and it infuriated the hell out of me because they are a branch of punk. Yep. I'm not saying they're not. Yep. But they're not pure punk as it would have been. I think that's not. That, I think um, that's an absurd I, argument. Yeah, but it is a real argument mm. that is out there whether Green Day are punk or pop rock or punk rock or pop punk or whatever it might be. You know. I would never. I would. At best, I would. At best, I could say in defence of people that argue the punk side of things is that when they begun, the early albums led more towards punk than yeah. pop. Yeah. But as soon as we hit American, uh, well, as soon as we hit Warning, Warning, um, that was it. The punk was done, and it was leading away to pop and pop punk, and that's it. Um, yeah, there's, we, we talked about it in, a, in a, the Love video. Um, there's, no, you, there's no comparisons to a punk band like the Sex Pistols or the Ramones yeah. and Green Day. That's, that invalidates it's, your argument and then, instantly. Yeah, and, then, and like I said, it's not even necessarily a hate on the band, but although no. I, have read, I have read things by... I can't remember any from that because I read them earlier on. Yeah. But by Billy Joe, where maybe he's come out of a quotation uh, or something or other, and I read that and thought, what? Does not make any sense? Really? Um, you know, but... They're not really like one quote out of thirty years of a guy's fucking life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's probably really had a hell of a lot of quotes. Yeah. yeah, do you know what I mean? It doesn't really mean. He's probably anything. contradicted himself more yeah, times exactly. than he wanted. You know, but very, very much the. It, there doesn't need to be an argument for him. It's the fact that I, I don't know. Maybe by claiming them to be punk is like that's cooler than saying they're pop punk, which is people maybe take as an insult. So a lot of people go, no, they're punk, they're punk. Stop calling them pop punk. Stop calling them pop punk. Fantastic. And I'm just like Jesus Christ, man. You what know, a stupid it, argument. Yeah, it might not even be the band's fault. This is the, the fans of the band. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Stop you either idiots. like them or you don't like them, whether they're punk or pop punk. But if you want to break it down into actual what music is, I, I, they are so far away from what punk originally was. Yep. They might have the attitude of punk, but I don't think they have the music of it. Yeah, fair point. I, I, yeah, great, greatly articulated. <laughs> While somebody's watching this video going, you prick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, okay, my next one's a bit mean, but I can't help it. Trey Cool. Really? <laughs> really? I've seen you drum, mate. You ain't that cool. I don't like the name. Sorry. I agree. Yeah, it's a stupid name. <laughs> yeah, that's um, it. That's my one. I don't know what his real name is. I know, oh, oh, obviously it's not his real name, but... Um, no, I know that Billy, Billy Joe is the only one who uses, uses his, his real name. Your real last name. I know last name. Trey might be his real first name. Right, yeah. Um, you hardcore Green Day fans, please put in the comments what his real name is, because I'm not, I'm not going on Wikipedia while we're doing the video. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, Trey Cool uh, might have seemed awesome when he was like 19, 18, 19, <laughs> but the dude's in his 40s now. Yeah. And like, he, you know, no. <laughs> yeah, no. Time, no. Time's gone for that. Yeah. Um, I hate Billy Joe Armstrong's nasally fucking voice. All right, I've got to jump in here. One of mine is that a lot of my struggles with Green Day is Billy Joe's um, voice. Yeah. A lot of my struggles. I don't think he's a great singer. I don't. He don't necessarily have to be, and that's fine. If you like his voice, you like his voice. Yeah. For me, I don't like it. I find it quite cringy. Stuff. It's like he's got a constant cold. I think. I think. Uh, it was probably more to do like the fact that he's got like half a gram of Charlie up his fucking. <laughs> Not anymore. Well, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I agree. His voice is, um, it's, it's certainly not for everyone. It's interesting that they managed to become the size they did on that voice, mm. if you think about it, really. Um, yeah. Right time, I guess. Um, but yeah, 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 the voice is a bit of a problem for me. In fact, I'll, I'll lead into one of my other ones then as well now. It's part of, a, part of that voice is part of the reason why I don't like, well, I hate, because I hate like Green Day, the Warning album. Right. So Warning Album was arguably the change in direction for um, Green Day's sound. Uh, if you know the Warning Album, it was basically filled with a lot more soft rock stuff. Um, and a lot of bland tunes, like the actual title track Warning is terrible. It, uh, Macy's Day prayed in it, um, Minority, which had a bit of a beat to it, but it was so simple, it was a bit embarrassing. But yeah, like um, because of softer songs, his voice was required to do a lot more work. And it really, I really don't like that album. Um, that was arguably the bigger of the Green Day albums for me. So before then, I'd heard, like, I'd heard bits of the other stuff. Warning was probably the first album, and I remember really liking it when I was at first. The more I listened to it, the more I was like, "We really don't like that, and I don't like that, and I don't like that." And then it was like, "I really don't like this," and then it was just like, "I really don't like this," you know? Yeah, that, yeah. yeah that was, well, yeah, that was about it really for me and Green Day. We didn't have that much of a love affair. Yeah, yeah. Um, sucks. Although, although I, I credited that this is one of those crossovers where I actually said it, I kind of said it was a good thing on the love thing, mm -hmm. but I was as much as it was struggling to come up with them. Um, I hold Green Day now, having researched them, entirely responsible for the plague of pop punk. Oh, God. Now that I know that they're apparently credited with at least being part of the formation of it. That's harsh. 
Yeah, well, uh, and, and it is to anyone who likes any of the stuff in it. But I, 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 I was never a big fan. There's very, very little pop punk that I like. Very little out of the um, huge amount that's out there. There's some great stuff. Um, yeah. So, in my opinion, as a non-fan of pop punk, who never really got, who never really got there, uh, they're responsible for creating a genre that their fans claim them not to be in, but is then responsible for littering uh, Kerrang TV, Scars and everything with shit music. <laughs> for clarity, I don't agree with him at all in this. Uh, he used the word play for pop punk. I'm a pop punk fan. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of pop punk bands, a lot of modern pop punk bands are rocking it. Um, it's an interesting genre. It can be shit though. And there was a period where we were flooded heavily with quite a few similar sort of things. Late, uh, off, kind of more heavy off the new metal, I think. Pop punk yeah. really rose... Um, the prominence there, you know, it's like, yeah, no, like I, I get that it was like a big deal. I do, and I genuinely, I always come back to this. I think like it's an era thing. I really do. I think if I had been a couple of years younger, I would have been getting into music around the same time, and that would have probably been my gateway stuff. Yeah, it probably would have been. Do you know what I mean? It was literally, a, it's just, it's a timing thing. Yeah, I was listening to. I'm not trying to be like I'm cool because I'm. It's just timing. I was lucky, in my opinion. Yeah, or unlucky in some other people's opinion. I was now getting into like Panteras and stuff like that, having moved on from. Metallica's Death Leopards and Guns N' Roses and that's like where I was going I was listening to Heavy and Heavy yeah like, it's just and timing and there were like some 41s and stuff bringing out yeah the good stuff, Charlotte that, all these, like that you know you when you're like that like kind of dickhead young metaler and all that all these people that are not real metalers are suddenly talking to you about you know oh you listen to metal have you heard this song by Good Charlotte and you're like fuck off Charlotte good <laughs> yeah that's fine because that was your era but you know there's a future top 10 I yeah. love and hate I want Good Charlotte. Yeah, yeah that's definitely. Yeah, that's you know? right, yeah. Or just pop punk in general. Yeah, we do pop punk. Yeah. All right, well. Let's talk about Green Day again. Yeah, we're back again, <laughs> won't it? In fact, I missed one, but I'll bring it up now um, because you did talk about it. But I, I put one of mine was they might have started as a punk band, but they're not anymore as a hate thing, you know, oh. uh, which tied into what we've talked about quite yeah. a bit throughout it. So I'm not going to go any more details in it. I will highlight one final track, though. Um, the last track I'm going to mention as a song I fucking despise 21 Guns. You know it? Uh, I know. It's really fun, yeah. more mellow, really, really, and it's obviously heavy on the war side of things. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. When I heard that, I, I remember, I, by that point, I wasn't a fan anymore. I didn't really listen to anything. I, that came out, and I saw the video for that, and I went, well, that's guaranteed, that's proven I uh, me, me right for stepping away. Yeah. 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 Terrible song. Terrible. So, um, I don't like the band name. Oh my god! I know that seems like I'm being picky. <laughs> that is really. Uh, yeah, I just don't. I don't really like the band name. I don't. I, I don't know. Right. I'm. I'm not a weed smoker. Right. I've never have been. I don't care that people do. Uh, I'm, I'm. You know. I'm fine with that. It's very buzz at the moment because of, you know it's like let's legalize it. Let's yeah, yeah. It. That's great. Um, back when I was listening to music and this stuff was coming out, it, there wasn't so much of a buzz about legalizing it and stuff like that. So it was probably seen as quite rebellious to call yourself Green Day. Yeah, yeah. Um, but as a person who's never used it, it has no appeal to me. Right. You know, you know quite well that I'm not anti-drugs. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just I don't smoke weed. Or I've never smoked. I have smoked it before, but I've just never been a fan it's of never, it. It's never, yeah, never. So I just find, I just, you know, to me, you know, I don't find the name cool. I don't find it ironic. I don't find it rebellious. It's just, I just find it a stupid name. It's like calling yourself Cocaine Monday. <laughs> cocaine Monday. You know, or Heroin Wednesday. <laughs> you know? um, I, just find, I just find it a stupid name because I guess for anybody that was in that kind of time and was smoking weed and all that sort of stuff, it was probably like something you could relate to. But because I wasn't, I didn't relate to it at all. I just like, you call yourself Green Day. I never even... Oh, you're so cool. And I mean, I, I smoked weed for a good few years back before I uh, started my started working. Um, and I never, ever, I never even considered that 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 a thing? No, never. Uh, but do keep in mind that I'm sure I'm trying to get ten things here. Fair <laughs> enough. You know, so well, my last one, my last one is a real controversial one that I could see a Green Day fan throwing throwing their hands up in the air with fury. <laughs> I believe, I think, and the one of the reasons why I hate Green Day is they have released more bad albums than they have good. They a back catalog is littered with. More bad than good. Well, I obviously uh, agree with that completely. Well, you know, I mean, you know, just talking about some of the later ones. Warning. Uh, uno, dos, tres. Tre. The trio of songs. Yeah. The new one, Revolution Radio, isn't a good album. Um, what? So when you start thinking, well, what are good albums? Well, Ducky's got some good songs in it. 
Uh, American Idiot, I guess you can say it's a good album because of its popularity. So, okay, Nimrod. Ooh, you see what I mean? Like, you start... Like, th- there isn't actually that many yeah. good albums. And that's what I think. They release more bad albums, yet somehow they've yeah. become a stadium band yeah. from that. Well, you quite know, amazing, really. Well, from American Idiot, really. That's it. The one album, isn't it? You know? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I believe. Sorry. How, do I, how have I ended up with two left again? <laughs> I think because I had two crossover ones at the end. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll do the... Um, I mean, these were both... I'm stretching a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I'm stretching a little bit here. Go on. All right. The, one of them's more... I guess you could apply this to every band in the world. But um, there seems to be an army of fanboys around the Green Day thing, which I, I don't really know because I'm not a fan of them, but I, 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 I have experienced it today uh, while researching some stuff to try and like make sure I had my facts correct. Yep. Or my feelings correct. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for, for, for this one. And uh, any person, it appears, who dares to say anything negative about Green Day at any point just gets destroyed on YouTube, on social media, on anything. Yeah. Like. And this is this does happen to a lot of bands. I get that. It's not specifically about Green Day. but So fanboy culture as a whole sucks. However, we are talking about Green Day. So yeah, so Green Day. It, it applies culture. to you as well. Yeah. Um, and then my last one. This is, this is this. I was really stretching here. It's not particularly funny or that. And I can't. I kind of meant that, but but I, I don't think I would have when I was younger. Go on. Then. But Green, Green Day's. I I find Green Day's message is quite contradictory. Right. Um. So. Green Day, a day lazing about smoking weed, doing nothing else. Um, Billy Joel spoken quite openly about quitting school because what's the point? Yep. Why bother trying? Why bother practicing? Do nothing. Bum around. While then at the same time saying, like he seems to come out and criticise everybody in America for not doing anything. Okay. And I know that they're different times. Mm. And maybe he feels differently about that stuff these days. But their early stuff, which I, I, you know, I kind of wrote down, it was like, uh, you know, quit school, fuck it, take drugs, do what you want, nobody cares, there's no point. To then... The Saints are coming. Yeah. We all need to do more to save everybody. And I find... It's like... Contradictory. What, yeah. Which message, So yeah. I find that... I, you know, but the, the thing that I do know, I know that's over an extended time period and yeah. people change over time. I get of course. that. However, you know, if you're not a fan and you you could listen to a song from then and then, you don't know that they're from two decades differently. And you're like, so do you want me to not do anything and just go, ah, fuck it. I'm just going to smoke weed. Or do you want me to get in a boat? And go to New Orleans with Bob. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> You're right. It is a stretch, but I see a yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you believe you believe they're sending contradictory messages. I got, I got messages. the six or seven on this, and I was I was struggling then. But then I did I did see all that stuff, and I was trying to work out, you know, the the kind of like they because even the image they tried to portray back in the day, you know, it was like that kind of bum image, wasn't it? Yeah. It was like almost like a, I don't want to say like hillbilly, but you know, it's kind of what it came across a little bit like. Whereas the modern day kind of Green Day, you often see them wearing like black suits with red ties which is meant to be a striking image yep. uh, and their messages are very much about complaining that people aren't doing enough and you know that sort of stuff we should be standing up to the government we should be doing this but we can't because we're all peeled out of our face because you told us to do that <laughs> none of you have jobs because yeah. you told us to quit you told us to quit we've got no jobs we've got no money I'm stoned out of my face I can't even stand up and now you want me to go and fight the fucking government <laughs> make your mind up mate so yeah, let's see. <laughs> 10 things we hate about Green Day. Uh, make sure you check out some of the other videos we've done already. And we're going to do... This is our series now. So continue to watch and continue to suggest. Um, argue with us in the comments. We won't reply. Um, no, I'm joking. If I get time, I'll reply. Depends what you say. Um, <laughs> what's call it? And um, give us suggestions. Give yeah, us suggestions. Yeah, we love some suggestions. That would be cool as fuck, actually. That'd be, That'd be really, really a lot of fun. Because um, just you know, don't, don't go so fucking random on something that maybe not we've never heard of before. Yeah, yeah. Because otherwise, we, we'll, we'll do <laughs> yeah. a bit of research to the point where it's like, okay, yeah. I need to check something. But we're not sitting here on computers doing Wikipedia and writing down lengthy lists. It's a matter of okay, we know this, we've heard this, and we don't like the sound of that, and so on. If I have to fact check everything, fucking hell, be there all day. Yeah, you know, it's opinions. It's opinions, and it is tongue in cheek some of it. Um, so yeah, don't take it too seriously. Don't get upset. That's it. Don't be head me. <laughs>